My father started the business in the mid-1980s and it was a greenfield site back then, so he's built what we see today over the last 30 years. I joined the business in 2009 and the succession plan is now in place, so uh, the second generation has taken over the running of the day-to-day -day operations. Autopack Vet Lab is a chemical manufacturing business. We have three different markets that we service. We service crop protection, which uh, is for the Australian farmers. We service the animal health industry, so we make medicines for animals in Australia. And we also have a third division, which is for sterile injectables for animals. In the last five years, we've expanded the business significantly. In manufacturing, going into a sterile segment is considered to be the biggest challenge that you could possibly undertake. And we were able to do that in 2017, and now we've got quite a significant market share in the sterile manufacturing area. Obviously, as the business grows, we need to provide the platform for the funding to come through so the business can grow as well. And this is where I think you know, ANZ has really come and stepped up to help the business grow. And in the three years I have been with the company, I have seen the company really take off in this industry. We're in a, a very cyclical industry in terms of the environment and the weather conditions. When it's drought, uh, and we've just come through a big drought in 2018 and 19, our business doesn't always go to forecast. And ANZ has been very helpful in understanding the needs of our business when things aren't going so well. In talking with Peter, Lucy and the team today, it made me really proud to see ANZ supporting this family business to expand into a new state for a Greenfields operation in the regional hub of Toowoomba for the next stage of growth. Toowoomba is an interesting regional hub for us. It's very close to our end user in the Darling Downs region and northern New South Wales. And most of our products in the crop protection business go to that part of the country. So we feel that it's a lot closer to the end user, uh, reduced transport costs, which are a very big consideration in the chemical industry transporting around the country. We are very lucky to have a joint venture partnership with the ASX listed company Elders, uh, and we plan to start building that uh, facility in 2023 with an opening date of 2024. One of the things I'm most proud of is to see the journey the business has been on from what really was a small founder-led family business to a business now of 160 employees. We have generations of families that we've worked with uh, where the father or the mother has been here and the, and the son and the daughter have come and joined us and we've seen them grow through that as well. It's really energising to hear how a small family business has grown over the years, partnering with a local community but also with some of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world to deliver first-class animal health and crop protection products for Australian farmers.